నారా చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు అనే నేను we want to give timely relief for every individual welcome to our special coverage on times network marking 100 days of chandra babu naidu government here in andhra pradesh in the first 100 days we've seen how chandra babu naidu has made significant strides beat in education sector infrastructure social welfare and economic development notably he also relaunched the anna canteens enhanced pensions and also initiated some of the crucial projects such as the pollavaram irrigation project and let's not forget the revival of amaravati however just in the first 100 days he was faced what with one of the most unprecedented floods which affected lakhs of people several pockets here across andhra pradesh were under deep waters now to give us more in depth into how the government mitigated the floods let's turn to my colleague saumit over to you saumit well the biggest challenge in front of the andhra pradesh government ever faced we can see the deadliest cyclone has hit vijayawada and also uh, you know our neighboring districts and these are the worst affected districts in andhra pradesh we can clearly see here we are right now reporting from hoda colony and all these roads uh, you know leads to different colonies uh, including the prakash nagar including singh nagar jakampudi colony hoda colony rajiv colony prakash nagar and several other colonies even we can clearly see all these roads which vijay has just now showed all these roads all these residences and also neighboring uh, you know uh, colonies they have been they were you know uh, seen submerged in water even here we can see uh, this is the layout all these residences were uh, uh, submerged in water few of the local residents are here sir uh, 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 you please tell me uh, what was uh, your residence uh, you know what was your situation when your residence submerged in water so i am a resident of this uh, area hoda mm. colony i am president of this hoda uh, colony mm. uh, uh, residents association mm. so we have faced a lot of mm. hell like uh, situation mm. it was about 78 feet water mm. it was there for 5 days completely mm. and uh, we, we, we couldn't get even electricity water everything for 3 days mm. so by the grace of god uh, government has taken very initiation and uh, from the third onwards we could able to get some water and food items like that na per kotam radandi ikkada nenu rmp doctor ga pani chestunanu ma mandul shop sri malte medical and fancy lopala kuda vachesi nandi vachin tarata mottham saman mottham tadisipoyindi tadisipoyin tarata ivanni clean chesi ijjesam taruvata veellu ma naayakulu gaani local law unna vallu gaani cm sir gaani illandara vachi manchiga parikshincharu veellandaro tractor la meda tirigi paalu gaani తర్వాత ఫుడ్ గానీ అన్ని అరేంజ్మెంట్లు మంచిగా మంచిగా చేశారండి మీరు చెప్పండి ఎలా ఉండే సిచ్యువేషన్ ఇక్కడ చాలా చాలా క్రిటికల్ పొజిషన్ లాస్ట్ అండ్ ఫైవ్ త్రీ డేస్ వాటర్ ఫుల్ వాటర్ ఎయిట్ ఫీట్ ప్రస్తుతానికి అయితే గవర్నమెంట్ నుంచి బాగానే వాటర్ కానీ ఫుడ్ సప్లై కానీ మొత్తం అందరికీ చాలా ఎక్కువగా ఇచ్చారు చాలా బాగా చూశారు మొత్తం ప్రభుత్వం మాత్రం చాలా బాగా చూసింది చంద్రబాబు గారు జేసీపీలో వచ్చి నడుము లోతు వాటర్లో దిగి ఎప్పుడైతే వెళ్లారో అది చూసిన టీడీపీ కార్యకర్తలు గాని నాయకులు గాని పది రెట్లు ఉత్సాహంగా పనిచేశారండి దొంగల భయం ఉందని చెప్పి చంద్రబాబు గారు ఒక మాట చెప్పి కరెంటు కూడా ఇప్పించారండి అంత బాగా చేశారండి అంటే ఫుడ్ వాటర్ ఇవ్వడానికి అయితే అసలు బ్రహ్మాండంగా అండి ప్రతి ఒక్కరు కూడా ఎవరికి తోసిన చాయం వాళ్ళు చేశారండి ఎవరికి కూడా ఈ వాటర్ గాని ఫుడ్ గాని ఇబ్బంది లేకుండా బాగా చేశారు సార్ how would you like to respond how would you like to explain the ordeal yeah so regarding this recent floods i think it is one of the unheard scale of operations what we have done till now so we were all practically clueless because this was not unheard before nor the administration or the public were aware that such large scale things would happen however once 
got to know the information, uh, Honorable Chief Minister and also all the ministers and all the senior officers uh, rushed into Vijayawada. We used to have regular meetings, everybody rushed in. And also Chief Minister himself was uh, staying at the collectorate and uh, he was seen even working night at two. Absolutely. So for, for my experience, this is the first time I've seen Honorable CM uh, you know, staying overnight and he stayed almost 10 to 12 days in collectorate reviewing all of us. Uh, day in and day out, uh, almost every day, uh, evening we had meetings, morning till evenings, and even till night, 2 o'clock, the CM was uh, having a tour across the areas, taking stock of situation. And uh, finally, restoration measures was very crucial. As per the instructions of the government, we had to get around uh, 7,000 to 8,000 people deputed from other uh, uh, districts. So other districts, people came, sanitation workers, along with the corporation staff, a massive exercise was taken to clear the roads, mainly cleaning the roads, clearing the drains, and also picking the garbage. 100 days of Chandra Babu Naidu's governance, several achievements, challenges, and several other things. So, uh, DSC, one of the major promise. How do you uh, w want to describe these uh, 100 days and uh, the achievements? People are calling this government, they're saying, Idi Manchi Prabhutvam. So in English, if you translate it, it means this is a good government. After seeing the tyranny of Jagan Reddy for five years, now they are saying, yes, we've got a good government now in, in Andhra Pradesh. So basically TDP has did far better than the previous YSRCP government? Absolutely. That is the reason why, see today, Mr. Naidu and all the ministers, they are going door to door. If we have not done anything, how can we, uh, can, can we dare to go door to door? Even, in, even, even about Amaravati? Yes, Amaravati, we've got 15,000 crore as grant, thanks to Mr. Narendra Modi. We've got 12,500 crores for Polavaram. Again, thanks to the Honorable Prime Minister. A widespread devastation caused by the unprecedented floods in Andhra Pradesh. But amidst the chaos, a story of resilience emerged. In addition to their commendable flood response, the Andhra Pradesh government has taken significant steps to ensure that no one goes hungry. The revival of Anna canteens across the state has today become a lifeline for many. Right here in Vijayawada, we are outside a bustling Anna canteen, one of the pet projects of Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu. Now we're going to get into uh, this Anna canteen, try to talk to people, gauge the public mood, and also how the government has, in fact, uh, paid attention of reviving such institutions, which was not operational in the last five years. And we're going to get the sumptuous meal and also chat with the people right here in Vijayawada, which is in Krishna. Lanka. Let's get in. So I'm here at the counter. Um, I'm going to take a count, uh, you know, the ticket here, the token, and uh, it's five rupees per meal, and that's what it's been always like. And what we see here is the crowd that's trickling in. It's over 300. So let me buy it my token and then go have this meal with the people here. Uh, two tokens. All right. So. I have an option. In fact, there is a menu, which is a set menu uh, for the week. If I could also ask my camera person to come uh, to get inside and pan over here. So you see, right, this is the Anna Canteen food menu. It talks about on a Monday, they provide us with idli, saba, chutney and pudding. So today is Friday. Again, we have the similar kind of uh, food that's been provided. So I will try and get into the queue here. This is where the food that's been provided and as you see affordable meals for all those who have come in here to enjoy that delicious uh, meal. So this is my breakfast for today here at Anna Canteen here in Vijayawada. I have, uh, you know, two idlis on my plate. There is upma. I see there is sambar and also uh, chutney puri, which they say. 
I'm enjoying this meal with the regulars here at this very Anna canteen. Let's also try and find out that what really brings back uh, these people to Anna canteen, which was not in operation for the last uh, five years. ओपन करे के बाद चार बार पांच बार तक आ गया इधर है अच्छा है अच्छा लगता है वो फाइव रुपीस यू हैव क्वाइट लॉट ऑफ फूड सर्व इस दिस योर फर्स्ट टाइम दिस इस फर्स्ट टाइम आई मीटिंग इन अन्ना कैंटी ओके व्हाट यू थिंक so it's 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 quite nice. I can see that uh, it's it's a complete meal for five rupees. Now I'm going to enjoy this meal. Let's try and move into the next table here. You look like you're enjoying your meal, but if you can tell me what do you think about the government that's revived Anna canteens? You did not have Anna canteens for five years, but now how do you feel? Uh, I am. My name is Malika Arjun. I am uh, studying uh, B.Ed. So uh, I I can't spend more money for studies. So I did not uh, uh, even uh, write food or uh, eat at uh, right time. So in in this time uh, I have opportunity in uh, on a canteen with five rupees. टिफिन अंड डिन्नर अंड लाइन अन्न फुड बागने ईद रूपल अन्न बड़ी बिफिन पीपल हिर् हू आर रेग्युर्स बट वट वी आलो अंडरस्टा इज दट यू नो द क्रउड दट स्टार्ट टू ट्रिकलिंग इन आफ्टर सेवन थर्टी ए एम समाइम्स गोज मोर दैन थ्री फिफ्टी वट वी अंडरस्टा बट आफ्टर स्पीकिंग टू द पीपल ओवर हिर् नाउ वट वी गोइंग टू डू इज ऑलो ट्राई एंड यू नो टॉक टू द पीपल राइट बिहाइंड दिस दैट इज दोज हू सर्व यू नो द कस्टमर्स हिर् दोज हू एक्चुअली कुक द फूड एंड एटलीस्ट प्रोवाइड द फूड फॉर द पीपल हू कम इन हिर् दे हेव बिन डूइंग अ फेंटेस्टिक जॉब ऑलसो लेट्स ट्राई एंड गेट यू नो देयर वॉइस इज हर्ड क्याटी द्वारा रोज की उदय मूड वाभ मंद मध्यान मूड वाभ मंद नईटे डिन्नर की मूड वाल मंद टोटल रोज की वे मंद की अंत मन आहार अंटे इनवाल अने दाने चाल मनसुप्ति ना हापी सर्वीच What more satisfaction uh, does one get from filling the empty stomachs of the poor? Now that was the statement which was made by Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu, and that's what he's been doing. Uh, in fact, feeding the empty stomachs here in Andhra Pradesh. We're talking about where the government, uh, the TDP government, has been. feeding over 1 lakh people now it could be anyone for that matter weaker sections of the society people from different walks of lives do come into anna canteens now for example to talk about this anna canteen which is in krishna lanka uh, just about you know we had breakfast with the regulars here with the customers here and the common citizens all that they had to say is thank you to the government because something which they did not experience in the last 5 years is they are having as a saving grace at this moment and all that they say is that they wish more anna canteens open up across the state of andhra pradesh and it is not just in the city or suburbs we also understand that the government plans to open up more launch over another 100 not just like i pointed out in suburbs or cities but also in tribal areas while anna canteens feed the empty stomachs the government has also ensured a quality life for its citizens the ntr bharosa pension scheme now provides increased monthly pensions from widows to disabled individuals and those suffering from chronic illnesses are benefited by this pension scheme allowing them to lead a dignified life pension vastundi 4000 3000 degiri nunchi 4000 varaku vastundi ippudu पेन वाँचे को मैं ने पनीकेस्तार सक्रटरी इंटेकोचे गत गवर्नमेंट मूड वेल्चेवा इप्ड सिक्स थौज इतना 
సిక్స్ థౌజండ్లో త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఇంట్లో మెయింటెనెన్స్ కాదు మూడు వేల రూపాయలు నా ఖర్చులు వాటికి ఉపయోగించుకుంటున్నా నాకు ఒకటో తారీఖు ఫస్ట్ డే సిక్స్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ కల్లా వచ్చి ఇచ్చి వెళ్ళిపోతున్నారండి అమౌంట్ పే చేస్తున్నారు అది చాలా హ్యాపీగా ఉంది నీకు పెన్షన్ వస్తుందా వస్తుందండి వస్తుంది బాబుకి ఫస్ట్ మూడు వేలు వచ్చాయి ఇప్పుడు ఆరు వేలు వస్తున్నాయి వాడికి హెల్త్ బాగోదు దానికి నడవడానికి మెడిసిన్ వాడుతున్నాము నెక్స్ట్ స్కూల్ ఫీజుకి వాడుతున్నాము విజన్ టు క్రియేట్ అసొసైటీ ఫ్రీ ఆఫ్ ఎకనామిక్ ఇంబాలెన్సెస్ in fact that one particular step taken by andhra pradesh chief minister chandra babu naidu was by enhancing pension today we understand over 63 lakh beneficiaries in fact are receive the revised pension we also see that at least about 1.25 lakh employees are on ground distributing cash to these beneficiaries it was clearly as mr naidu said it was his conscious decision to curb inflation so that he could help the weaker sections of society lead better lives while andhra pradesh chief minister is committed to improving the lives of people his son nara lokesh minister for human resources development it and education has emerged as a powerful voice for the youth in the last 100 days what have been the transformative measures that your ministry has implemented well particularly if you look at the entire education department we are currently creating a data set trying to assess keeping the student as the center of the universe so the idea is how can we improve the quality of education and based on outcomes so one part is the infrastructure the second part is teacher training but how do i get the entire institution to focus on outcomes and that's been the first step that we've taken and in the last 5 years we've lost a lot of students to the private sector so the marginalized communities are having to pay a lot more money to the private sector to get good education for the children i think that's very unfair on the government's part so the idea is to improve quality uh, and look at it very holistically uh, involve parents into the entire education process of their child and definitely uh, fight with the private sector and get our students back and integrate them into the entire government education system so reflecting on the initial 100 days right um, do you spot any challenges in terms of your education sector that we're talking about or in some it's great to have cbc mechanism of examination but are your teachers equipped are your children equipped are the parents ready because right. it's every, everyone are in what right. and for me to actually you know because i was worried for the fact that thousand schools are going to go for cbc exam close to 80000 students are going to appear and it's, it was very important for me to actually start assessing them because i, I I'm a, i mean i was a cbc student so i understand the importance of board exams for to my shock 90% of them failed so the system is not good was not ready so we had to postpone the decision so i said let's start working on systemic interventions now on and take these children on that, towards that destination in a very phased manner so these were decisions that we had to really take a hard look at and sort of build things uh, I, i i truly believe that we are in the right direction but 100 days is too small for uh, especially in the education sector I think a lot more work needs to still go in. Uh, I'm working with my entire team. But definitely in five years, we'll have an Andhra model, which will be purely based on the outcomes. Uh, and we'll be able to put the children of Andhra Pradesh in the right trajectory. What is it for the future of Andhra Pradesh? Well, as Mr. Raina says, we want to be number one in every field. Uh, so if you look at every sector, we want Andhra Pradesh to have a very important and formidable role to play. And uh, as a government, we're very outcome-focused. And the whole idea is in terms of per capita, Today, Andhra Pradesh is one of the lowest, is the lowest uh, in South India. And we want to be number one in India. And with that target, target. and that's uh, 2047. So as Honorable Prime Minister is talking about Vekasit Bharat, Vekasit Andhra Pradesh is a model that we have taken. With his focus on education, skill development and entrepreneurship, Lokesh is inspiring youth and young professionals to become the agents of progress. We're going to speak uh, to a few students to understand what the skill senses mean to them. It's been uh, quite impressing. As a students, we want to uh, connect to the uh, industries like uh, we want a path. Okay. And we, we want a network which, is, uh, which the employees work over there. And we, we need a network with the communication. Like our uh, faculty is also making the mm. industrial tools like that. And we are making, uh, making them to... 
uh, ask what are the doubts we have and uh, also what are the internships we regarding that uh, with skills we can uh, acquire job anywhere like not only in andhra or in uh, foreign or anywhere we can we want to we want a job for so we will also go across to the professor here uh, can you please tell us about in terms of this uh, government introducing the skill census how helpful is it going to be and do you also give suggestions so we ran this courses from the 14 to 19 very effectively so the people are getting benefited during that course like now the government is initiated to uh, offer the same uh, good in, uh, good courses for the i mean skill oriented courses uh, in, in it also guarantees uh, jobs yeah, you mean sure because uh, when the government is inviting the more industries the industry is also looking for the skills people like right? So in such a, a scale, like the, they had to generate the skills. So engineering is one way. It is a platform for that. Mm -hmm. But we need more skills to get the jobs in the industry. The government is planning in such a way that they fill the gaps for it. Well, thank you for your insightful conversation with us. Total investments I am planning, 10 lakh crores, 7.5 lakh employment, direct and indirect. Today, <laughs> minister has assured 30 lakh crores investment for next five years. In that, I'm having an action plan for 10 lakhs, one third investment in Andhra Pradesh. That is our aim. That is our goal. That is our vision. I strongly believe there is one more revolution that is green energy revolution. With an ambitious target of generating 78 gigawatts of solar energy in the next five years, Chief Minister Chandrababu Naidu is making significant strides in renewable energy. And by 2029, Andhra Pradesh aims to attract investments worth Rs 10 lakh crore. Ambitious plans for Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh aims to attract investments worth Rs 10 lakh crore by 2029. Grant plans for creating 7.5 lakh jobs aims to generate 78.50 gigawatts of solar energy in the next five years. 26 model solar villages to be established in the state. So basically, Subbu asked me, why you are investing so heavily in Andhra in renewable energy sector. So before I give a long answer to him, I have a short answer. Today, entire day, Honorable CM is the only presentation which is so comprehensive. Each and everything is crystal clear, all the policies, all technologies. So it was so informative. What as business people and industry people, we could have taken four days or at least a couple of hours to learn. We learned only in half an hour. So we are just by attending this AP session, we have a profit of three and a half hours and more. So imagine what will happen if you go and invest that estate. Within a matter of 100 days, we've seen how Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu has excelled in terms of various sectors, be it education like we pointed out, or even for that matter, a robust infrastructure. But however, he's also taken up this as a challenge to challenge the previous government that he is a better Chief Minister and he is all here to transform not just Amravati, but Andhra Pradesh for good. More importantly, Andhra Pradesh government is also looking forward to boost its economy and enhance digital governance as well. Thank you for watching this special coverage on Times Network. Stay tuned for more updates. In Vijaywada, with Saumit and Kiran Shrija for Times Network.